Hi right, there, Paul in Perth here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to look at this LFVE engine and in particular we're going to look at the thermostat. So the thermostat is within this thermostat housing here and the thermostat's job is that when the engine is cold the thermostat will block the water from flowing and when the engine is heated up the thermostat will open up and allow the water to flow. Periodically you need to replace them. They are a maintenance item, you do need to replace them. I'm obviously showing you with the engine out of the car so that you can get a really good idea of the geometry of what you're dealing with. I know you're going to be doing it with the engine in the engine bay, so it's going to be a little bit more fiddly and a bit harder for you, but I think it's important that you see, um, you see all the parts that are in play just so that you can get the geometry in your head. So if we come in a little, just come in a little bit closer, this is the thermostat housing here. What goes on there is the um, hose that goes to the outlet out of the radiator. So it's coming out of the radiator and it's going into the housing. This here is the water pump and the water pump is pumping water into the, um, the block of the engine. So the direction of water is that way. This here is the return line from the heater core inside the cabin of your vehicle. And if I remember rightly, there's a third line somewhere else. Okay, so here's a third line, and that third line is coming from the throttle body. So water is going through the throttle body to keep the throttle body cool. And this is the, so you've got the return line of the throttle body, the return line of the heater, and you've got, in effect, the, um, the cold or the return line from the radiator is going in there. Now there are three eight mil bolts that hold this on. So all I've done is I've got a little, I've got an eight mil on an extender and we're gonna take off these three eight mils. I've loosened these off before the video, by the way, so you might find them a little bit harder to turn than this, but it's the same, it's the same principle. You just, there's three eight mils and I need you to get them off, okay? So, already got one off. This is the second one coming off now. That's out. And we'll grab the third one, which is up in this corner here. So, you've got um, top left, sorry, top left, top right, bottom right. I'm now doing the top right. <clears throat> and once that's out, we'll be able to pull the housing out. So, that's the thermostat housing there. That is the thermostat. So you can see it's got this um, relatively heavy gauge spring in it. And when it's cold, the spring is pushing all the way there and it's blocking the hole. Um, if you search for how to test a thermostat, I'm not gonna do it here because there's tons of videos already. But basically, if you chuck the thermostat in, the, in a, a boiling um, pot of hot water on your stove, then you'll find that what'll happen is that spring will retract and that will open that up. I advise you as friend to friend, don't tell your wife you're doing it. Wives tend to get really, really upset when you do things like taking car parts into the kitchen, but that's how you test it, all right? Uh, these little metal, uh, sorry, plastic, these two plastic lugs here are the locators for the, for the thermostat. So if I get a little flathead and I just gently prise, and what I'm doing is, I'm trying to gently prise it off those two locator pins. So just gently, that one's popped up. And if I just gently pull that one there, okay. So there's the two locator pins there, and that's the actual thermostat. So you can see at the moment, it's, it's closed. So if that spring was to retract, this would push back, and this, this aperture would open up, and that would allow water to flow. So, uh, periodically, and it'll be on your um, maintenance schedule, periodically you need to change these. Um, when they fail, they tend to fail by getting stuck in the closed position. And when they're stuck in the closed position, obviously water is not then flowing through your engine. And if water is not flowing, it will overheat. And when the top of your engine overheats, you absolutely will blow your head gasket, okay? It's a very, very, it's, you, it's a very expensive fix. And with these alloy blocks, you might as well just throw the engine away and get a new engine, okay? So 
you're better off spending the 50 bucks changing your thermostat than the one and a half grand to change your engine, okay? Putting it back together is just the opposite. I won't go through it because, you know, you're an adult, you can work it out. But basically, the new thermostat's gonna go in there, you're gonna put it back in, put your eight mils on, and you're all done, okay? So that's it, it's not a hard job. Now, if you've enjoyed this, I want you to do three things for me. I want you to click like, I want you to click subscribe, and I want you to leave a comment. In the comment, first thing I want you to do, tell me what country you're from. I've traveled tons and tons of countries around the world, and I love, um, I love people from other parts of the world. Hey, if you're from Australia, tell me from Australia. You're from Australia, I love Australia too, that's fine. But tell me where you're from, and um, if I've helped you, just tell me you've helped you. That's all I ask, all right? The whole thing's free, so let's just enjoy it, hey? All right, so thanks from Paul in Perth, and I'll see you next time. Catch ya.